the future is now for both of these clubs. 20-year-old Jackson Churio, one of the youngest outfielders ever to start on an opening day, and 20-year-old Jackson Holiday making his highly anticipated home debut here at Camden Yards. Tyler Wells on the mound for the Orioles, making his third start of the season. Well, last year, this guy was phenomenal in the first half of the season. He's six foot eight. The ball really explodes at the top of the strike zone. In a short stature, just 5'11". He's gone as Wells blows it past him. One away for William Contreras, who is on a seven-game hitting streak. And Contreras wraps it on the ground, a shortstop circled by Henderson. He's got it, plants, throws, and has Contreras at first. And there's two down now for Christian Yelich. Yelich smacks a ground ball into right for a two-out single. And then he's now reached base safely in 23 straight games dating back to last year. And that'll get Adamas to the plate. This is popped up by Adamas. Shallow center field, Henderson drifting back. He waved everybody off, and look out! Nearly collided full on with Cedric Mullins, who bails him out. They'll take on Freddie Peralta, his third start of the season, former All-Star. He was the opening day starter for Milwaukee, earning the honor for the first time in his career. One-two pitch, got him looking! Fastball painted the outside edge. Here's Colton Kowser batting left side. Kowser to left and a base hit. Just stuck the bat head out there, and he's digging for two. A one-out double for Colton Kowser. He picks up his eighth extra base hit in the early going. And now here's Anthony Santander. Eight and three, I should say. This is popped up to right field. Churio coming in, but Monasterio goes out to make the catch. Kowser in scoring position in this nothing-nothing game for Ryan O'Hearn. And O'Hearn is retired, stranding Kowser at second. One away for Reese Hoskins. Hoskins socks this one into the left center gap. That's down for a hit and will bounce all the way to the wall. Hoskins with a one out double. It's just his fourth extra base hit of the season. And there's a man at second with one out, and Gary Sanchez getting ready to bat. Looking for his first hit of the season. Sanchez drills one deep left field. That is trouble. It is gone. That's the way to start your account. A two-run homer for Gary Sanchez, and the Brewers are up two zip. I don't care how far you move the fences back. Scary Gary was going to hit it over it. 111 miles an hour in the first home run of the season for Gary Sanchez as a Brewer. And Monasterio works a walk, his first start since opening day. We'll bring up Joey Ortiz, the former Oriole. And this is lashed to right for a base hit by Ortiz, dribbling all the way to the corner. Monasterio being waved around third. Ortiz digging for three. The throw, not in time. RBI triple for Joey Ortiz, and the Brewers lead 3-0. That's got to feel so good for Joey Ortiz against his former club. First at bat that he gets a chance, and he was down two strikes, grinding it away, and he just basically flicks a pitch that's away from him and up, where that's where Wells wants it and gets rewarded. Runner at third, one out. Infield in now for Jackson Churio. Churio down on strikes for the second time. A big second out for Tyler Wells. And there's two away for William Contreras. Tyler Wells laboring here. And this pitch is popped up. Shallow left, long way to go for Austin Hayes. But he has a beat on it and makes the catch. Could be a developing situation here for the Milwaukee Brewers. Christian Yelich was due up to lead off the inning. But this is Blake Perkins instead. Perkins with a ground ball up the middle. Henderson makes the play. Lee Adamas up there. Draft picks and players. Oh. Adamas cranks one. Deep left field. Will it clear the wall? No. It's off the top of the wall. Adamas sprints around first. He's in at second with a stand-up double. The free lick flies out. Willie gets to within 90 feet of scoring the fourth Brewers run, though. With two away in the inning, it brings up Reese Hoskins. And Hoskins drills one to left. That'll get a run home. Two out single for Hoskins to drive home at Thomas, and it's 4 0 Milwaukee. Yeah, for Wells, the, the slider again is just not sharp enough with two strikes to get the out. And for Reese, he's already two for two tonight. And that extra 90 feet Willie Adamas took, he probably would have a Bay Bang play at the plate. Brewers are playing baseball tonight. Jackson Holiday making his home debut. Family with a front row seat. Here's a payoff. And Holiday strikes out. 
into the mitt of Contreras on a foul tip. Freddy Peralta's got five in the first eight batters that he's faced. So one out for James McCann. From the wind up, the one two pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a changeup. Is it another punch out oh. for Freddy Peralta? Six. Red hot Colton Kowser. He's the only Oriole to reach. Doubled in the first inning. Kowser drills one. Deep right field. Way back there and gone. He's got another one. Baltimore is on the board. Knock, knock, knock. Who's making the delivery? The milkman has arrived again. Third home run in a two-game span for the rookie. Well, nobody's hit a slider off Freddie Peralta this year, and this is the first hit, and it's a homer. And now Santander up there. Santander chases a high fastball. Number seven in the K column. One gone. Here's Ryan O'Hearn. And another punch out, number eight for Peralta. So it's a two out single for Cedric Mullins, and here comes Jordan Westberg. And Westberg with a line drive, base hit. Mullins round second, heads to third. And the Orioles with a bit of a two out rally here. We'll bring the tying run to the plate in the form of Austin Hayes. Yes! And he went around. Strikeout number eight for Freddie Peralta. New pitcher for the Orioles after Tyler Wells only gets through four. And they're two men on. Nobody out for Willie Adamas. This ball is lifted to left. Hayes will watch it go. Willie Adamas clears the fence this time. A three run homer and the Brewers are out to a 7 1 lead. One of the true power hitters as a shortstop at baseball, Willie Adamas had a double hit high off the wall. This time I was watching him do his dance down the line, and he knew he got it. Started with a walk to Contreras, a base hit by Perkins, and then a bomb from Willie Adamas. Five extra base hits tonight for the Brewers, tying a season high. It's the second at bat of the night for Jackson Holiday. Another strikeout for Holiday, second time he's been put away tonight. Oh, this is the 10th strikeout for Freddy Peralta. The 13th time he's done that in his career. He is absolutely feeling it tonight. There's a slide here down and in. A base hit for Ortiz. So one away and here's William Contreras. Detroit Tigers all in on Detroit. High fly ball deep right field from Contreras. Drifting back is Kowser and that ball is gone. Third home run of the night for the Brewers. Contreras goes yard and Milwaukee is routing Baltimore tonight, 9-1. And the Brewers have legitimately rolled out the barrel tonight. Pat Murphy has challenged Contreras to be one of the league's best catchers. And when you see a ball get hit opposite field, and it travels nearly 400 feet, that's a special player. And then it said top five MVP, all-star, oh, gold glove, silver slugger, guys. Look out here. A conversation between Willie Adamas and James McCann didn't take much to spark the big time disagreement. Bench is empty, bullpen's empty. This is not the first time Milwaukee has gotten into a tiff with an opponent this year. Uh, James McCann, he's sticking up for his Orioles team. I'm not sure if he didn't took exception to Willie Adamas on a homer, but Willie and the Brewers are not going to back down. He's letting him know. This is why I took offense to it. Here it is. If you're a Brewers fan, you got to love the edge with which this team is playing the first month of the season. We're on the way back to home. Here's a payoff pitch. And Adamas grounds one to short diving stop. Henderson throws way late. And Adamas will reach with an infield single. Three hits tonight for Willie Adamas. And now here's Sal Freelich. This one way inside to Freelich. And Adamas will move to second. Freelich rounds one through the right side for a base hit. Adamas around third. Here comes the play at the plate, and he is safe. Freelich is going to take off for second on the throw. It's a 10 spot for the Brewers. Uh, we might have had a chance for some big time fireworks at home plate on this throw because Adamas is coming in sliding hard. He might have had a, a play at the plate if the throw was up the line. It's Adama's secondary lead. Good job, especially with two outs, cut the pillows. And then here it is, he might get a play at the plate. Adamas gets in there, looks at James, and then walks off. Two quick outs for Freddie, who is at 87 pitches. And here's Cedric Mullins. 
Mullins strikes out. Wow. On three pitches. It's an eight pitch inning for Freddie Peralta, who now has 11 strikeouts on the night. So, leadoff walk for the crew. As much scoring as they put together. Mateo going back on this ball, and he crashes into the wall, hangs on to make the catch. Jorge Mateo, risking life and limb, takes an extra base hit away from Reese Hoskins. Wow, what a play for Mateo. Just a year ago, he was almost the everyday shortstop for the Orioles. Now they're asking him to play all over the place. And now runners on the corners with two outs, and Joey Ortiz coming to the plate. Be due up fourth. Ground ball through the right side and another hit for Joey Ortiz and another RBI. A three hit night for Joey Ortiz against his former team. Uh, it has to feel so good. I told you, revenge ABs are the best. Ortiz just does a good job of hitting. And the Orioles down to their last opportunity here with two outs and nobody on in the bottom of the nine. Here's Austin Hayes. Ground ball to short. Willie Adamas. One of the central figures in this game tonight to put it away. And the Milwaukee Brewers with a route in game one of this three game series against the Baltimore Orioles and 11 1 final at Camden Yards. 